What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kwaku Wasafu Ajay and doing an app review for you guys today. The app review is TuneIn Radio for Windows 10. You can get it on the Microsoft Store for free. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. So right here, this app this is actually like the second take of doing this because it froze the first time. But right here doing this app, it looks really clean compared to the other app reviews that I've done. It is uh, very white. There's no option of switching the mode to dark mode or anything like that, like across Windows 10. Um, it has some fluent design elements in it, and I'll show you guys that in a little bit later. Um, but it's a TuneIn is a podcast app, if you don't know already. TuneIn uh, is a service that allows you to listen to podcasts, and I run two podcasts. That's why I was playing these two, which are mine. And then there's some other ones, too, for testing purposes that I was listening to, Associated Press Entertainment, um, and so or. I think that's Associated Press. Um, but yeah, so this is it right here. One thing that you'll know right off the bat, you'll notice, is that it looks very big in font in every way, and there's no way that you can shrink it unless you go into, you know, the settings of Windows 10 and change the whole entire experiences uh, font and just styling to make them smaller. Um, this is clearly targeted for people with tablets, mostly surfaces, and just any touchscreen computer. Um, and it's not really meant for mouse and keyboard because when you scroll up and down with this computer, uh, it just goes to the bottom here and there's some sm smaller text where you read for descriptions and stuff, but it scrolls up and down fine. But in order to see more of what you've been doing, uh, you need to click these arrows, which is fine. It's clean layout, but it's one of the things that just, it's kind of interesting because, you know, all of Microsoft's, you know, first party programs or applications, they're all for the Windows store, at least, or Microsoft store, I keep saying. Um, they're all for like mainly mouse and keyboard. And this one's the first one that I've been seeing lately that's, um, targeted towards it's clean, but it's targeted towards like a, a mainly a touch environment. But from the start of everything, uh, you got your home tab here on the far left. You have your my profile, you got your browse and you got your search. Then you got a big advertisement that I don't know whether you can get rid of, but let me know if you can. You got a big advertisement. It's targeting my area. Uh, one thing that you're going to notice too is that when you first launch this application, note that I haven't logged in yet. So when I click my profile, you'll see that I haven't logged in and I'll jump over to when I log in. But one thing you're going to notice is that um, it asks for your camera access, which is really dumb. I don't know why. Uh, TuneIn needs to take a look at that and make sure it doesn't require your camera because there's no excuse for why a listening application requires access to your camera even your microphone for the fact because there's just no there's no excuse for that so one thing tune in you should fix is um your requirements to use the application i hit no for sort not to use my camera and microphone so it's just one little annoyance but you got your home you have my profile which i haven't filled in yet because i haven't signed in yet and then under that you have your settings so when you click that you have app settings and it takes you to your app settings where you can see your contact us, which takes you all to the website. Uh, you have your browse, which allows you to browse different types of radio, whether you want premium content, you know, from NFL and all those places. You want local radio, which for me would be WAMU 88.5 because that's um, where NPR lies and all the stuff from my local D.C. area. Um, then you got your search, which allows you to search for whatever you want. So if you want twit.tv you like this week in tech and leo laporte's uh twit network and you can watch for instance their thing on there and just anything that you want you can watch you know on tune in as long as it's available on there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump to uh my profile and i'm going to sign in and then come back and now that i'm back to signed in when you first click on the login, by the way, um, it takes you to just a picture page and it just kind of lets you pick whether you want to sign in with Facebook or with Google. I just chose Google and then that's it. And then it logs you in. And basically what it does is um, your TuneIn account is basically anything that has whatever stations or podcasts you subscribe to. These Those will show here. I obviously don't use TuneIn to... Um, to, to listen to podcasts I use Stitcher mainly and that's not on Windows 10 so um, all you have here for me at least is my own podcast because I subscribe to it just so that I could see how things work so just to see how it lays out when you click on a podcast um, this is my podcast um, shameless plug 
Uh, and basically this play button allows you to play all of the episodes in order. And then you also have each individual episode when it was uploaded. And it also has the name and the brief uh, show notes. Um, and right here, you'll see that all the show notes are there and you'll see it's it's all nicely laid out and it works the same on every single other um every single other show that's on there so say if i want to click on this one and it plays so i'm going to pause that because for all you know youtube will be like copyright infringement against myself because it's just youtube but you can see here that it gives you the show's title or the the show's title the the episode and what it's called or whatever the title that the specific podcast podcaster puts below the description, like before the description, that shows up. And then the overall show's titles above it in thick bold. Then you got the cover art, whatever that happens to be. And then you also have the timeline, which allows you to click the dot and scrub across. Um, and it's just, you can click on the timeline anywhere and you can just scrub and you can stop it. You can rewind 30 seconds, forward 30 seconds, pause it. If you click these three dots, you have more options about it whether you want to pin to home go to profile and visit web page and need help and stuff so if i hit stop see it doesn't do anything but if i hit play and then i hit stop it just it's stop functions as if it's a um stop functions as if it's a pause so i can hit this x button here which is in tune in colors and you see you go back so one thing that i'll do too is i'll go into some stations so i'll go to like um say a recent station let's go to wamu um and then you can see that's the station and you can see all their shows under it this is technically NPR and then you can go to you can see their show and you can also see that it's live so you can listen to live radio stations if they have internet radio available on TuneIn as well so that's a really nice thing that you can do a nice addition that TuneIn added overall it's a really well executed application um you can get it for free on the Microsoft Store, and it's a pretty fast download, especially on my connection. And overall, it looks really nice. One little annoyance for me, again, is that it's really targeted more for a touch environment, which is fine. But I know a lot of people don't really touch their computers com screens, like their laptop screens mainly. Um, they, I, As much as a lot of people watching this might uh, disagree with me. Um, the average person really won't really touch the screen too much. They actually want to keep the screen clean. And so, yeah, it's just, you know, I, I think this thing, it's nice and all, but I think they should figure out um, whether a revamp, if they care enough for a revamp, uh, they should show a revamp of putting in a, like a, a desktop mode for this. But overall, that is uh, the conclusion to this app review. This was TuneIn Radio. Uh, my name is Kwaku Asaku Ajay again, and thanks for watching and thanks for uh, tuning into my channel. See the plug right there, the TuneIn, the segue. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments section below what you think about this application uh, and also what other applications that I should take a look at. On Windows 10, um, I know it's next Windows that I have this channel named under, but let me know applications I should take a look at in general. They can be x60, x86 applications, which means they run on a desktop environment. They can be Microsoft Store applications. Just let me know. And if you're a developer, you want me to take a look at your application and take a critique of it, um, let me know too. You can send me an email, nextgenwindows at gmail.com. Take care, everybody. Enjoy.